Hi, my name is Ellen Anderson, and today we're going to play around with some colors a client of mine has chosen for a commission. So, like I told you, it's always a good idea to do a small test painting before doing a larger commission for a client. We'll be using metallic Krylon shortcuts gold leaf spray paint. We'll be using satin aluminum acrylic paint, handmade modern. We'll be using Greyhound Mom's Tattoo Ink. We'll be using Denim Ranger Alcohol Ink. We'll be using Snowcap Ranger Mixative. And we'll be using Matte French Cream Rust-Oleum Spray Paint. We'll also be using Mastercast Epoxy Resin. And we'll be using another of Eli Kim's products called Ruzzy Blast. Also be using some acetone and a spray bottle. I've also put some of my Ruzzy Blast in a spray bottle. It's the way I like to use it. So, now that I've told you what we're gonna do, we have a 14 by 14 primed American easel board. Birch. And then pour it in with them. Then you gotta mix the resin or color. part that you need to be aware of, okay? I am going to toss some acetone, about a tablespoonful, into both of my whites and my gray, or grays. I'm gonna leave my alcohol ink, denim, and my, um, Gold leaf spray alone. Mixed dirty pour kind of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of my Greyhound Gray, which I've really diluted with the acetone. Scosity is very runny. And I'm going to get a clean cup. Let's do two clean cups, because it's gonna be a mixed dirty pour kind of thing, and then we're just gonna add to it as we go, like we feel like it. All right, so I'm gonna do some of my really runny gray. Some of my gold that I didn't dilute much. Some of my spray paint French cream. And I'm also going to do a little bit of my really white, white alcohol ink mixative and a little bit of my very dark alcohol ink. All right, now first we're gonna pour this on to the canvas because I'm definitely wanting to play with some Resi Blast today. But I already see some cool things coming out in this painting. I forgot 
to double check if it was level or not after I moved it. Lucky me. Okay, now I want some more color on the outside. So I'm going to take my gold, my, my gold and my denim color. Pour it into that cup I just used for my dirty pour. Pour some gold on top of the denim. Pour some really white on top of that. And then I'm going to see what happens when I give it Spritz of Resi Blast after I pour it on. I think I'm gonna add just a dab of gray, light gray. And just a dab of dark gray. And here we go, let's see what happens to the outside here. Ooh, I'm liking this one. It's turning out pretty cool. Okay. So there we go with that. All right, now I'm gonna take my little Resi Blast sprayer I made. Remember, Resi Blast is an Eli Kim thing. I'm gonna spray some just lightly from way far up, probably about two or three feet up. Two or three feet up. Ooh, that was cool. Even higher, smaller mist. Oh, wow, look at all that. Okay, so now that we have this, like, really cellular thing going on. I think I'm going to break it up a bit with some of the other colors I have here. Some gray, dark gray, the tattoo ink gray, and my gold leaf. Resin mixture. And then I'm going to take some of that indigo blue. Or sorry, denim blue. Alcohol ink. And I'm going to add some of my really white. I'm just going to add a little bit of my gray, light gray, and then some of my not quite so white, white. Alright, what do I want to do with you? I want to come across like this. And again, 
see what happens. I'm going to cover my side. I'm mainly just torching to get the bubbles out of this painting because I really like its composition already and to get the sides even. There's not much I would change about it to be honest. Okay, and since I've used the Eli Kim Resi Blast, since it's oily and it's not going to evaporate, what will happen is after the resin cures, I'll come back, wipe this off with some baby wipes to get the oily residue off, and probably do a clear coat of resin over it to give it that glass-like sheen that is entirely perfect. Um, sometimes when you use really small amounts of Resi Blast, you don't have that problem, but since I was spraying it directly on top, I bet I will. So, but this is what it's going to look like. It's just probably going to have a little more depth. So, time for a close up. I'm going to take better pictures and put them on my Instagram at Ellen Anderson Arts if any of you want to check it out later. This poor lighting is not the best for getting how cool the painting really is. I'm Ellen Anderson and this video should be posting as probably video number four six for the six videos I was contracted to do for Resin Obsession. Uh, I really enjoyed using Mastercast, the resin that Resin Obsession has recently picked up. Um, I'll be posting better pictures of all the work that I do on these tutorials on my Instagram at Ellen Anderson Art. 
and I invite you to come take a look. And if you have any questions, I try to keep up with the YouTube questions and posts, so have at it. Thanks. Night.